Hey there, so I just had an amazing conversation with a brother of mine and uh, just a great guy. And and the things I was saying, he said, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I just thought I'd share it with you all um, because um, it's just a key. It's a key and it's vital uh, about this life and about the enemy and how he likes to work uh, and how he likes to throw us off. And so uh, it, the difference is between being uh, vague and specific. And, you know, when you wake up the, in the morning and you have that vague sense of something's wrong, I'm in trouble, or I've done something wrong, or, um, you know, there's just, just something vague that's happening. And there's just, there's nothing that you can pinpoint on that's, that's an issue. It's just literally uh, this sense of something bad. And, you know, I, I, I'm a very intuitive person so I've I've utilized that I've utilized my intuition and when I feel some stuff I, I usually really believe it but what I realized is the enemy has turned that against me and he will bring a vague sense of something's wrong I'm in trouble uh, and then he throws me off so that I'm not walking in faith I'm walking in fear and so um, whenever I uh, and being uh, chastised or whenever the Lord is bringing something to me to deal with, it's very, very specific. And so I can always know that if I have something vague, something that's intangible, something that I can't put my finger on, something that just is that vague cloud over there, I know that that's the enemy messing with me. Um, and then if there's conviction um, and and the Lord is bringing something to me, it's very, very specific. It's very, very key. And it's, it's directed right at it. And also, once you deal with that situation, you repent, you pray, it's over. The vagueness, you can, you could be saying, I'm sorry, 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 all day long, but you're not talking about anything specific. So you, you have this kind of just floating a uh, problem with fear, doubt, uh, condemnation, and that's just never how God works. So I just, um, I just wanted to encourage you that uh, the Lord, your father, your dad is very, very, very specific in how he wants to deal with you. Very, very specific in what he wants to bring to you. If he has some kind of correction of you, if he has something that he's looking to to bring change in you or uh, bring repentance through you, he's going to be very specific. He's going to tell you it exactly. And uh, that to me is beautiful because that's caring, that's loving, that's nurturing, that's shepherding, that's uh, coming in and being intentional. Um, and uh, this vague sense of, of uh, something's wrong, it just leaves you empty, it leaves you fearful, it leaves you guessing, it leaves your brain running on, on trying to figure it out. And we already know that knowledge, our head knowledge, is not, is not what's going to do this. It's, it's our spirit. And so when the, the Lord brings something specific, it's heart to heart, it's very specific, and it's intentional. It's intentionally uh, directed uh, to guide you, to shepherd you, to lead you relationally. Um, so anyway, that I hope this encourages you. Um, the The enemy just his his schemes and his plans and his plots are so destructive to our our faith, to our relationship with Christ, and uh, is always trying to get us to go into the the mind and try to figure things out and try to work things out and uh, I don't have to do that because the Holy Spirit is very 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 specific so I hope that encourages you and I love y'all